I want to tell you a story about one of the world's most successful entertainers. He'd been at the top of his game for more than 30 years, especially popular among the rich and famous. But styles come and styles go. Let's just say his went. His career hit an all-time low. His music company went bankrupt, and with no stimulus checks to look forward to, he decided to schedule a farewell appearance and retire. Then, to make matters worse, he suffered what appeared to be a mild stroke that affected the use of his hand. Not the best thing for a writer. Thankfully, he recovered and decided to keep composing, but in a new style, one he hoped would be better received. Let's just say the reviews were mixed. And his new sound wasn't doing much for the bottom line. His creditors were on the verge of taking legal action. Prospects looked pretty bad for the 56-year-old composer until two important developments changed the course of his life. The first was a high-profile gig that would keep the creditors off of his back for a while. An English aristocrat invited him to write something for a benefit concert to help the poor in Ireland. About the same time, a friend sent him a collection of various Old and New Testament scripture passages and asked if he could do something musical with them. Sure, he said, maybe in a year or so. Well... Guess again. The power of God's word caught hold and wouldn't let go. He read the passages over and over again. Finally, some fresh inspiration. In fact, he was so moved that he locked himself in a room and started writing. And kept writing, day and night. 24 days and 260 pages later, George Frederick Handel emerged with a musical masterpiece destined to become a classic. The Messiah, a timeless musical treasure taken entirely from the pages of scripture, first performed at Easter time at the Dublin Benefit Concert in 1743, raising enough money to buy the freedom of 142 men stuck in debtor's prison. When the Messiah eventually debuted in London, King George was so moved by the Hallelujah Chorus that he suddenly stood to his feet. Everybody in the room decided to follow his example, and audiences around the world have done the same ever since. Searching through scripture may not turn you into a great composer, but it's the first and best place to go when you're facing difficult decisions, uncertain circumstances, and confusing questions. If you could use some help finding your way, please call or message us. Helping you is not only our privilege, it's our purpose. In the meantime, See you Sunday.